Hello everyone, welcome back to Team Auto Trend. Today I am here with the brand new Hyundai i20's updated Asta variant, which gets some significant feature upgrades. Similarly, for detailed reviews on all variants of all cars, make sure to subscribe to our channel and do like and share this video. Sponsored by Boodmo.com, the spare parts expert. Any brand, any model, any spare part, they offer only genuine quality components along with the cheapest and more expensive options all at one place for you. You can check out their website at Boodmo.com or download the Boodmo app which is available for Android devices and iOS as well. You can search for the required spare part in the proper category from the scrolling menu on the home screen and you can also check out the available offers displayed on the home screen as well. Boodmo also offers return and refund assurance within 10 days of purchase. If you don't like the spare part, you can return it within 10 days without any hassle. Boodmo, the spare parts expert and quite literally the one-stop shop for all your automotive spare parts needs. For the year 2022, Hyundai India have updated the Asta variant of the Hyundai i20 and this updated Asta variant of the Hyundai i20 has been provided by Chandra Hyundai Showroom in Coimbatore. This Asta variant is essentially one level lower to the Asta optional top spec variant of the Hyundai i20. That said, in terms of exterior and interior, it carries forward most of the features you see on the Asta optional, such as LED headlamps with LED DRLs, while projector halogen fog lamps are standard from the Magna variant itself. Just like the Asta optional, this Asta also gets 16-inch dual-tone machine-cut alloy wheels. And yes, just like the Asta optional, this Asta also gets chrome finished door handles along with chrome finished window line, while the black color body skirts are standard from the sports variant itself. Well, yes, from the sports variant itself, the i20 also gets a shark fin antenna. Coming on towards the rear, this car looks again almost similar to the Asta optional. And right from the sports variant, you can see the signature Z shaped LED tail lamps. That said, only the Asta and Asta optional get the rear windshield wiper washer with defogger while the reverse parking camera is standard on all variants except for the Magna. The latest feature addition on the Asta is the availability of this electric sunroof carried over from the Asta optional. So now let's get inside the cabin of this Asta. Yes folks, I'm right now inside the brand new updated 2022 Hyundai i20's Asta variant and this is how the interior looks like. To begin with, the interior does not get any difference at all except for on the steering wheel. Yes, this Asta variant now gets cruise control as standard. Previously, the cruise control feature was available only on the Asta optional but now this feature has been made available on the sports and Asta variant as well of the i20. However, just like before, this steering wheel gets beautiful leather wrapping with tilt and telescopic adjustment available as standard from the Magna variant itself and you also can see automatic headlamp function which is also available from the Magna variant itself. This fully digital instrument cluster has also been exactly the same from the sports variant so no difference over here. However, on the center console, you can see one major difference on this Asta variant. Yes, this is the Asta variant, but still you get to see this 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system as against to the 10.25-inch touchscreen system previously available on the Asta and Asta optional variants. Now that the larger size 10.25-inch touchscreen system is available only on the Asta optional, whereas the sports and this Asta variant provides this 8-inch touchscreen system instead. Now turning on the display, this is how everything looks like. To be frank, this looks uh, almost identical to what we have seen on the sports variant because of this smaller size touchscreen. So uh, this touchscreen system does not get Blue Link connectivity as against to the previously available 10.25 inch touchscreen system on the Asta. However, just like the sports variant, you get the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay along with reverse parking camera with adaptive guidelines. The camera quality itself is pretty impressive on this premium hatchback. 
even though this not being the larger touchscreen system this uh, camera quality is pretty good and as expected along with this uh, size reduction of the touchscreen system the Astar variant no longer provides auto dimming IR VM instead it gets only a manual adjustment without any uh, telematic controls for the blue link connectivity on the IR VM itself so these are the differences on the inside of the Astar variant that's because apart from all these changes, everything else remains exactly the same, including the all black cabin with the grayish black colored door handles. You also get the same automatic climate control from the sports variant itself. And you can also see this wireless charging facility available as standard on the Asta. The gear lever is a five speed manual one for the 1.2 liter petrol. So this is exactly the same again. Uh, and this Asta variant onwards, you also get interior ambient mode lighting, which is also clearly visible over here on the center console if you turn on the lights at night you also get interior lighting in the footwell of the driver and the passenger as well so this is a standard feature on the Astra just like before you also get steering mounted audio controls along with voice command functionality and the driver's seat also gets height adjustment as standard from the sports variant itself now coming to the driver door well yes just like the sports variant this car also gets one touch down and one touch up function for the driver window along with electronically adjustable and foldable ORVMs. So no difference over here regarding all these things. Only changes at the front are regarding the touchscreen system, size reduction and the availability of cruise control. Uh, well, then coming towards the center console, this center armrest is also available from the Magna variant itself. However, the higher variants alone get this slide adjustment as standard. That said, the cushioning for this center armrest is pretty good, nice and soft. It is a rubberized sort of leatherish material over here which is pretty comfortable and soft underneath this uh, armrest there is a decent level of storage capacity which is just like before as standard and the glove box size is also pretty good with decent level of cooling function as well available from the sports variant itself apart from that everything else remains exactly the same well coming to the final pierce the resistance of this new updated asta variant that is the availability of this electric sunroof yes this is a new feature on the Asta variant previously this electric sunroof was available exclusively only on the Asta optional but this is now available on the Asta itself so this is another benefit of this new updated Asta variant so well that was all about the features over here at the front of the Asta variant of the Hyundai i20 let's now quickly take a look at the rear seats Yes, folks, this is how the dashboard of the new Hyundai i20's updated Astra variant looks like from the back seat. To be honest, the smaller touchscreen system does not matter because this car now provides quite a lot of features, including new features such as cruise control and an electric sunroof, which brings in quite a lot of light to this all black interior. Now, the Hyundai i20 has always been a very, very spacious premium hatchback in this category. Now, the rear seat space remains exactly the same, no problem at all. The rear seat under thigh support also remains pretty good with good amount of seat squab length and overall support now the lateral support is also pretty good on this Asta variant however you can see that this Asta variant still does not provide rear adjustable headrests if you want rear adjustable headrests and a center armrest you have to look at the Asta optional variant alone because only that variant provides these features well just like before the isofix child seat mounts are available as standard across all variants of the Hyundai i20 along with dual airbags ABS with EBD and reverse parking sensors however the second level sports variant itself provides reverse parking camera which makes the sports and Asta variant pretty well loaded because of the touchscreen system and a reverse parking camera now apart from all these changes uh, just like before the Magna variant itself provides rear AC vents along with this phone pocket while also providing this smart charging USB port for your smartphone so no difference over here at the back seat of this Asta variant even on the sports variant which we reviewed recently there was no change at the back seat area now let's check out the boot space the new Hyundai i20 is well known for its space management so if you open the boot you get to see 311 liters of luggage space while not compromising on passenger space the opening of this boot is very wide and the boot area itself is very square and very usable both the Astra and Astra optional variants of the i20 get the standard 7-speaker Bose surround sound system with the subwoofer in the boot area. That said, while these variants have 16-inch alloy wheels, the spare wheel which is located under the floor is a 15-inch steel black color wheel. 
So this pad wheel can be used for temporary purpose only. That said, if you want to increase the luggage space, you can obviously fold flat the rear seats. However, none of the variants of the Hyundai i20 provide 60-40 split folding rear seats. That said, by folding the rear seats flat, you can easily load larger luggage and probably even your furniture into the i20. Talking about further features in the boot area, on the right side you get to see a back hook along with a boot lamp. So that was all about the boot area of the Asta variant. Let's now close this tailgate and open the engine bay. The Hyundai i20 is essentially available with three different engine options. So once you open the bonnet of this Asta, you get to see the 1.2 litre four cylinder Kappa petrol engine, which produces 83 PS of maximum power and 113 Newton meters of maximum torque through either a five speed manual gearbox or a CVT automatic. Then there's also the one litre three cylinder turbo petrol engine producing 120 PS of maximum power made it to either a six speed IMT gearbox or the seven speed DCT automatic. That said, this Asta variant is not available with the 1.5 litre diesel engine as the 1.5 litre turbo diesel is available only with the Magna, Sports and Asta optional. But still you get two different petrol engine options along with four different transmission options with the Asta variant. So friends, that was a detailed review of the new updated Asta variant of the Hyundai i20. Due to the arrival of new rivals such as the new Baleno and the Glanza, Hyundai India have made their effort to make the mid-level Asta variant a bit more appealing than before by providing more features. Truly, the addition of cruise control and electric sunroof are very appealing for most people. And now this Asta variant is truly an almost top-end variant. It also has to be mentioned that this new generation i20 has received 3-star crash test global NCAP rating according to latest news. So if you want almost all the features seen on the Asta optional variant but you don't want to stretch your budget, then this Asta variant of the Hyundai i20 can be satisfying for you. Do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this updated Asta variant of the Hyundai i20. Meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.